It's Friday, February 22nd, 2013. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. Make sure to put some canned goods aside for this year's UTEP project move. The UTEP Student Alumni Association and Minor Ambassadors will host a canned food drive on Tuesday, March 5th at the UTEP men's basketball game. The goods will then be distributed to local hunger prevention organizations. Project move provides students, staff, faculty, and alumni of the university with an opportunity to give back to the El Paso community as a volunteer. This year, Project Move will take place Saturday, March 9th. You'll want to put on your dancing shoes for Step Africa Thursday, February 28th at McGoffin Auditorium. Step Africa is the first professional company in the world dedicated to the tradition of stepping. This form of dance uses the body as an instrument to create intricate rhythms and sounds. Tickets can be purchased at the door or through Ticketmaster. UTEP students, your admission is free with your minor gold card. The award-winning UTEP 21st Century Scholars Program is molding a new batch of students through a highly interactive and hands-on workshop at this year's UTEP Live. The 130 students participated in programming that has been designed to enhance each student's leadership identity and essential career skills. That includes communication in a professional setting, networking, self-promotion, and working collaboratively. Congratulations to all the scholars! Michelle Del Rio, a student in UTEP's Master of Public Health program, is paving the way for women in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. Del Rio earned her Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Biology from UTEP in 2010. She was the first student in the College of Science to graduate with three minors in chemistry, Spanish, and psychology. In 2011, Del Rio was picked by the White House to participate in the National Science Foundation family-friendly rollout. First Lady Michelle Obama told scientists, policymakers, and news media that the nation must do what it can to help Michelle Del Rio and other women across the country. So today is also about helping every uh, little girl in this country believe that she can be the next Michelle Del Rio, right? This semester, Del Rio became the first recipient of the Paula B. Ford Endowed Scholarship for Public Health Students in the College of Health Sciences. Her goal is to become a doctor and do her residency in public health. Good luck, Michelle. Well, that's it for this week. For more information on these stories and others, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!